Hi class, welcome to Statistics. My name is Matthew Sokol and I'll be your instructor for this course over the coming weeks. And what I want to do in this video here is I want to provide just a quick introduction to what statistics is and uh, kind of an overview of the course. All right, so first off, what, what is statistics? Um, what is, you know, our textbook definition of it? Well, according to our textbook, statistics is the study of the collection, analysis, interpretation, presentation, and organization of data. So what this class is going to be about is it's going to teach you how to work with data. And if you think about it, we live in a world of big data. Uh, data is collected about us every day. Um, and knowing how to work with data sets is such an important skill set to have as you continue your academic career and then eventually go into the real world. Okay, so kind of as a follow-up to this, why, why would you study statistics? Um, there's a bunch of different math courses you can take here. And, and what is it about statistics that is so important? Um, on a personal level, I think it's the most interesting and most applicable math course you could take out of all the courses uh, during your math courses during your college career. And, and first, why, uh, as I was hinting in the previous uh, slide here, data is everywhere. OK, um, you want to become an informed consumer of numerical information. OK, um, if data is being collected about you, decisions in the real world are made using using data, knowing how to work with it or at least consume it and read it and understand it is is incredibly important. Uh, statistical decisions matter. Statistical techniques are used to make decisions that affect our daily lives. That is, they affect our personal welfare. Um, Two quick examples of this. Uh, later in this class, we'll talk about using something called expected value to, to price um, a life insurance policy or to um, figure out how much you should expect to win or lose um, playing certain casino games. Um, additionally, we'll study techniques like how, how, you can, how do you know if a new pharmaceutical drug is effective? Okay, these, these decisions matter. These are important things and statistical techniques are used to determine this. And finally, I, I personally believe this class has incredible value. Okay, so no matter what field of study you go into or career you make, you will make use of statistics. <clears throat> I always like to tell my students that I, I, I wasn't always a math professor. Prior to teaching, um, I worked in private industry and then in state government. And in every job I had, um, understanding and using statistical techniques were incredibly important. All right. It, it, knowing this will help you in your career and give you a one up on your coworkers as well. OK, so when I teach this course, I say this course is divided into five sections of study. OK, each is incredibly important. Um, and so let me kind of just give you an overview real quick of the five sections and then I'll dive into them in a little bit more detail. OK, so section one is kind of an introduction. It's kind of um, just the basics of statistics and a lot of the ch charts and numerical summaries that you might have seen before. Uh, section two is what is going to cover the topics of correlation and regression. Section three of our course is going to be about probability and then this concept of discrete random variables. It'll be our first introduction to random variables in statistics. Uh, section four will be continuing with this idea of random variables when we talk about, we'll talk about continuous random variables. And then we'll talk a lot of, of, about a lot of different statistical distributions. We'll talk about uniform distribution, exponential, normal distribution. And then we'll eventually talk about something called sampling distributions. All right, our final topic, our final, excuse me, final section of the class is going to be covering what we call statistical inference. And the two topics here are going to be confidence intervals and hypothesis testing. So let me let me dive a little bit deeper into each of these sections for you that we'll be studying. Okay, so section one, the first one. All right, here what we're going to do is we're going to learn the process of statistics. We're going to learn um, a five-step process that I talk about, and then we'll learn about um, how you classify different types of data. If you remember, I said this class is a lot about data. Um, well, how you the data value of someone's height is different than the data value or how you classify someone's height is different than how you would classify somebody's hair color. So we're going to talk about how you uh, distinguish these variables and how we identify them. We're going to learn uh, real briefly and real quickly graphical methods for summarizing data. Um, some of this stuff should look very, very familiar. We're going to learn about histograms, bar charts, uh, pie charts, um, real quickly about that stuff. 
And then we're going to learn uh, numerical methods for summarizing data. You know, you probably have heard of things called the mean, median, and mode. We'll talk about something called the range. Maybe you've heard that. Then we'll talk about something called the mid-range, quartiles, the interquartile range. So we'll introduce all these um, topics, um, and I'll show you how to uh, calculate them first by hand. And then we're going to rely very heavily on technology to help us find some of these numerical measures. All right, this section is really what we call descriptive statistics, section one. So descriptive statistics consists of methods for organizing and summarizing information. So you want to take raw data in this section and turn it into consumable information. All right. So descriptive statistics include the construction of graphs, charts, and tables, and the calculation of very descriptive measures, such as what we call averages, measures of variation, and then percentiles. All right, section two of our course. Okay. This one is the, the section I talked about, about correlation and regression. Okay, so in this section, what we want to do is we want to learn how two variables are related. All right, so for example, um, would you guys, as you're watching this, think about this, would you agree that uh, how much a home sells for um, is related or can be determined to a certain extent by the square footage of the house? I would think so. Like, for example, larger homes sell for more money, right? So there's obviously some type of relationship between a home sale price and its square footage. Now, there's a lot of other things that influence um, a home's cost, obviously. But if we just want to boil it down and, and, and study the relationship between square footage and sale price, we're going to do this with a process called or a value first called correlation. And then we're going to learn about a modeling technique called linear regression. And in this section here, uh, we're going to rely very, very heavily on the use of technology to help us with, with these two calculations. The third section of our class, okay, this is a section that contains two main topics here. The first is we're going to study the basics of probability. Um, we'll start very, very easy with probability about talking about coin flips and die rolls, and eventually we'll, we'll work to much harder, harder, and harder uh, concepts within probability. And we'll study some casino games, we'll talk about lotteries, um, things like that. It'll be fun. Then also we're going to talk about a first introduction to random variables in statistics. So when you think about your math courses, um, you know, generally we let the letter X be a, a variable in, in previous math courses. Well, how we deal with variables and statistics is a little bit different. All right. Um, we'll talk in this section, our first introduction will be um, what we call discrete random variables. We'll learn about something called expected values, and then we'll, we'll learn our first probability distribution, which will be something called the binomial probability distribution, which I actually have right here for you to review. But don't stress too much looking at this formula. It looks a little difficult at first. Again, we'll rely heavily on technology to help us solve this. Our fourth section of the course. Uh, in this section, we're going to continue our study of random variables. We're going to learn about um, continuous random variables here. And we're going to learn a lot about different statistical distributions. We're going to learn first about the uniform distribution. We'll learn a little about the exponential distribution. And then we're going to spend a bulk of our time learning about something called the normal distribution. All right? Or you might have heard this referred to as looking here, what we call the bell curve. All right. Um, this distribution is incredibly important in statistics. All right. And it's going to help us set the foundations for one of our first advanced, advanced topics of the course called sampling distributions, where we look at the, the distribution of statistics, like a, a sample mean in the class. And if certain conditions are met, we're going to notice something very, very interesting about it. A um, little bit of a, a preview there, but um, this section here, section four, will be... Um, we're going to spend a, the most time in um, and it's going to be I'll teach you how to read a statistical table and we'll then we'll also use technology a lot to, to answer problems related to these distributions our final section of the course uh, section number five all right in this section we'll learn how to form conclusions from data this is called statistical inference and there's two main topics um, in this class the first is what we call confidence intervals and you've all probably seen a confidence interval before in the real world and just maybe not realized it. Um, if you pay attention to the news, uh, political polls or survey research polls that are put out often say something like 
the proportion of Americans who approve of this uh, policy is 60%, whatever. And then down in the bottom of the corner, you'll see something called the margin of error, plus or minus, you know, whatever, 2 3%. This is a confidence interval, okay? And I'm going to show you how to calculate that margin of error um, and where it comes from. Our final topic is going to be hypothesis testing. Um, what hypothesis testing is, it's a process to test the validity of a claim. Um, you know, for example, if I say, I think the average time that uh, WCC students spend on homework each week is 20 hours. Well, that's that's a claim, and that my claim that I made is either true or false. And I'll show you a, a method using data to test the validity of that claim. This final section here is called um, inferential statistics, and this consists of methods for drawing and measuring the reliability of conclusions about a population based on the information obtained from a sample of that population. Okay, so for example, statisticians analyze the information obtained from a sample of the voting population to make inferences. So inferences are drawing conclusions about the preferences of the entire voting population. Okay, inferential statistics provide us methods for drawing such conclusions. And this is just a quick introduction to our class. I, I hope you, going through the topics you're, you're excited for the course. And uh, I look forward to working with you all in the coming weeks.